a very warm welcome to this special service as we celebrate the festival of Candlemas. Candlemas in the Christian calendar is also known as the presentation of the Lord or presentation of Christ in the temple. A time when we celebrate the meeting, the meeting of Jesus in the temple with the aged Simeon, as we hear in St. Luke's Gospel, which we will hear later in the service. This Christian festival commemorates the occasion when the Virgin Mary, Jesus' mother, in obedience to Jewish law, went up to the temple in Jerusalem, both to be purified 40 days after the birth of her son and to present him to God as her firstborn. This festival was formerly known as the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary and is simply now known as the Presentation of the Lord. You may ask why it's called Candlemas. Well, it's become tradition that candles for use in church and indeed candles that are to be used at home would be brought to church to be blessed by the priest on this festival day. And so today, even today, we still bless candles for use for the year ahead. And so very much light is part of this festival. In the midst of these dark days of winter, and perhaps particularly in the dark days as we continue to struggle with this pandemic. Light is so important, light in the darkness to light our way. And indeed, we are called today in this festival to remind ourselves that we too can be lights in the world. As Jesus himself came as a light to lighten the darkness, to bring light into the world, so we too can be lights in the world for others, to bring hope. As many of you know, since the foundation of St Chad's College, Candlemas has always been celebrated in a particular way, and that has developed into what we now know as the annual college ball, the Candlemas Ball. Today, as we are celebrating that festival, we recognise that we are not able this year to gather together. But in that same spirit of being together as a college, as a community, we pray for one another. We pray for our families. We pray for those of our friends who we are unable to be with at this time. And particularly, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. And we pray for them, particularly at this most difficult time. And so as we bring our prayers, we hear from the words of the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. For mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Almighty and ever-living God, clothed in majesty, whose beloved Son was this day presented in the temple in substance of our flesh, 
Grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, fill each one of us with love, joy and hope. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, gladden our eyes and warm our hearts. May Christ, the day spring from on high, draw near to guide our feet into the way of peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty 
the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of us and all those we love and pray for this night and always. Amen.